Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Drive and Academy. In today's video, we're going to be giving you the insight on how much it actually costs to fuel up a tractor trailer. So of course here at Drive and Academy, we actually do fueling pretty much almost every single day. The way our process works is we actually, instead of driving our trucks to the gas station, since we have a good amount of trucks, that gas station comes to us in a mobile gas station, as you can, I guess you can say. We fill up our storage tanks and then we fill up accordingly. Now, of course, we never try to fill up the truck, the tractor trailers uh, to the full capacity for theft purposes, right? So we don't want to walk in and all of a sudden the fuel's gone. Also, the time consumption that it does take. But to kind of give you an example of, for instance, our uh, CDL third-party testing site trucks. So in Pennsylvania, we have our own third-party testing site. And the cool thing about that testing site is we have the ability to test you no matter what state you're coming from. So we've tested people from Hawaii, from Alaska, from Illinois, from California, from all over the country, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, so on and so forth. And that actually is a cool kind of experiment because those trucks are, are sitting there at all times. So those trucks as well, we don't always want to fill them up to the top for the same type of reasons. Um, and that being said, so when we do fill up those trucks, I kind of give you an example. So uh, I can get a little bit less than half a tank for about $200. <clears throat> now on those tractor trailers, as you can see here, it actually has two tanks. It has a tank on the driver's side and a tank on the passenger side. They're medium sized tanks. So of course, depends on the size of the tank that you have on your tractor trailer. If you have one of those with monster fuel tanks on there, of course your fuel cost is gonna be a lot higher. But to fill up, if I ever wanted to fill up those trucks to the brim, that those trucks in Pennsylvania would cost anywhere from four to five hundred dollars just to fill up. So think about it. We use those trucks every single day. Those trucks have to be regularly filled up on a regular basis. So it's not easy or cheap to train you guys on how to get yourself a CDO license. Also, it's going to be one of the biggest costs when you become an owner operator. So as you become an as you go through the CDO process, the goal is you're going to start off as a student here with us. And then after you graduate with us, we're going to offer lifetime job placement, as we do for all of our students. So we're going to help you find a job up until the day you die. You get to pick if you want to go local, regional, or over the road. If you decide to become a company driver, one of the cool things about that is you just have to focus on driving, making sure that you're staying safe, and making sure that your vehicle is staying nice and comfortable and in good working order. Now the next level up is going to be, say you're an owner operator. This is where you can actually have, you're not just getting a paycheck, you actually are actually operating a business, which means you have income and you have expenses for the business. One of the biggest expenses is going to be your fuel cost. So one of the things that a lot of owner operators focus on is how to drive more efficiently, to how to conserve more fuel. Because think about it, these tractor trailers, they only do on the high end about 10 miles per gallon. On average, they do about six to seven miles per gallon which means when you're doing that by hundreds of gallons of fuel every single week that these guys have to fill up, those numbers can truly add up. So how do you become more fuel efficient? One, you can purchase a newer automatic truck. The sticker price is gonna be higher, but the efficiency, that's what makes them valuable because they can actually be more efficient with the fuel itself. Or you can go old school, drive a stick shift, and come to Drive an Academy and we'll teach you how to shift accordingly. When it comes to burning up fuel, whether you're in a tractor trailer or a car, the system is the same. It's all about the RPMs. The higher your RPMs, the more your engine is turning, which means the more fuel eventually you're going to be burning and the more money it's going to cost you at, at the end of the day. And when you're in business for yourself, and we can actually help you out with that with our mentorship program. So if you're interested in learning more about becoming a owner operator and starting your own business, we have a whole bunch of students who've done it in the past and we're gonna mentor you throughout the entire process. We can actually give you a five year work contract and actually give you the mentorship that you're looking for the entire way. But like I was saying before, it does not matter how much money you make, it matters how much money you keep in your pocket at the end of the year. So and then at the end of the day, Uncle Sam can, can get you for more money on your taxes, but at least you'll have more to pay. Or you can actually sign up with our mentorship program and we'll show you some nice ways that are legal where you don't have to pay Uncle Sam as much money as if you didn't have our advice. So our advice pretty much pays for itself. So if you have your CDL license already and you wanna be take yourself to the next step, you wanna become an owner operator, what you're gonna to need to do is make sure you have a minimum of $25,000 to get started 
because if you don't have that, it's not worth talking to us because that's what you're going to need to start this business. That's going to get you the down payment on the truck. That's going to get you down payment or a trailer paid off in full. That's going to get you insurance paid off, insurance down payment as well, and a little bit of operating capital. That is the minimum. That's squeezing everything that you have, making sure that you have at least 25 grand. If you have more than that, then you're smooth sailing from there. If you want more information on that owner operator program and how to keep more money in your pocket by driving more efficiently, or maybe you don't have your CDO license yet and you want to get your CDO license started, give us a call 908-525-3609. We're located in Linden, New Jersey, and part of our owner operator program is we can sell you a truck and guarantee you a five-year work contract from New Jersey to Ohio and back. And the people who do that route will make anywhere from $120,000 to $160,000 a year and clean profit that's after you pay for the fuel itself. The more efficient you are, the more money you're gonna make. So, I hope this video caught you well. Hope to get you on your road to freedom very soon. All you gotta do, give us a call, 908-525-3609. Drive where you wanna go and make the money you deserve. Thanks, have a great day.